my name is Jessica De Prospero, and I am a bartender. I'm originally from Washington Township, New Jersey. Life before bartending was not as fun. I was working in retail and I was a waitress. So I started out as a waitress when I was 14 and then I eventually moved up to bartending when I turned 18 and I went to bartending school in the city in uh, Philadelphia. And I took 40 hours worth of classes and had to take a speeding test in order to get my mixology degree. And then I just started bartending. Juggling school and bartending is probably one of the toughest things to do right now. I work four days a week and all of my weekend hours go to working here about 14 hours a day. So it is a lot of um, time management and balancing my work and sometimes I'm good at it and sometimes I fall apart. At the end of the week I make around a thousand dollars a weekend, which is a lot. My favorite part about being a bartender is that I get to interact with people and meet new people all the time but I also love when my regulars come in because it's they're my friends. Like I have friends at school, but I see these people every single weekend and they always come in and they're like, oh, how was your week or how was your day? And it's like I can have a normal conversation with these people because they know my life. I absolutely think bartending has changed me personally. It's made me more open to just communicating with people and it's kind of cool because I remember what every single person drinks when they come in and I know that's like very confident of me to say. When it comes to someone being really highly intoxicated, I stop serving them. I, I, I recognize right away if they come in drunk, I won't serve them. I'll offer them a glass of water and let them sit there for a while and then I'll serve them. But if they give me a hard time, I just kind of kick them out. I'm like, dude, you gotta go, like you can't be here. I would say if you're trying to be a bartender, you need to grow some thick skin because people are going to come in here and try to get free stuff or they're going to come in here with a demeanor and an attitude and you just have to be able to handle yourself, especially if you work by yourself until 2 o'clock in the morning. I know for a female, it's you have to just be careful. Someone could follow you out to your car. You just have to have thick skin. And also, don't be afraid to ask people how they want things made. I know you're not going to know how to make every single shot or how to make every single martini, and that's okay. There's things that have the same name, but it's a different drink. Like, you don't know. So there's nothing wrong with Googling or simply asking the customer, how would you like that made? Or how do you like it? Is there a different way to make it? In 10 years, I hope to be hopefully married and on my way to a strong and successful career in the communications world or marketing.